Good morning, and welcome to WLTV, West Light and Television. I'm Janeth Escobar. And I'm Christy Nevis. Well, after the winter we've had, nothing can warm you up like a hot bowl of soup, so the Light and Art Department is hosting its annual Empty Bowls fundraiser to support the Light and Food Pantry. WLTV's Anthony Sansone talked to Ms. Carol Felix about the upcoming event. Thanks. I'm here with Ms. Felix, ceramics teacher from West Leiden. So, uh, Ms. Felix, what is Empty Bowls? Um, Empty Bowls is a nationwide organization that actually started um, with a high school ceramics teacher in Wisconsin. And what it is is uh, teaching students to make bowls to sell, and then we take the profits from the bowl to donate to Feed the Hungry. Nice. So who runs all of it? Um, the West Leiden Clay Club is the club that makes the bowls and sells the bowls. And so where and when is uh, Empty Bowls? Empty Bowls takes place February 19th, which is a Thursday, from 4 to 6 in the West Leiden Student Cafeteria. The bowls are sold in the Eagle's Wing, and then you go through the food line to pick up your soup. It's all the soup and bread you can eat for $15. That is with the purchase of a ceramic bowl, and if you just want soup without the ceramic bowl, it's $5. All right, so lastly, where does all the money from Empty Bowls go to? Uh, this year we're donating to the Leiden Food Pantry. All right, uh, thank you. So back to you guys. Thanks, Anthony. It's always good to see Leiden helping others. Speaking of helping others, February is National Random Acts of Kindness Month, so WLTV's Gianna Givens spoke with Ms. Shannon O'Connor, who is a sponsor of the recently created group, the Random Acts of Kindness Club, to find out what they have in store for us. Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Ms. O'Connor discussing the upcoming event, the Random Act of Kindness Week. So, Ms. O'Connor, tell us about this event. So, next week is a national event hosted by an organization called Random Acts of Kindness, and they put on the event hoping that schools, organizations, people all over the country will kind of come together and really celebrate kindness for the week. And what is Leiden doing to support this event? you will see many teachers and our club members walking around with kindness tokens. If you're caught being kind, you'll be given a kindness token. You can put your name and ID on it and then put it into one of the kindness boxes either in the media center or in the cafeteria. At the end of the week, we'll draw three winners to win a Wingstop gift card. The second, we'll be selling kindness grams in the cafeteria during lunch periods. Kindness grams are a dollar. You can write a message to a friend, um, anyone you want to send a message to, and they'll be delivered to 10th period classes on Thursday of next week. And the final thing that we're doing is kicking off our uh, Leiden Kindness Challenge. It's going to be semester long, and we want to see how creative you guys can be. So come up with a creative act of kindness and either put it on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag LeidenRAK, so LeidenRAK. And the most creative one at the end of the semester will win a prize. And we'll also feature some of the really creative ones on a board by the First Floor Eagle. Back to the studio. Thanks, Gianna. Last weekend, the Family and Consumer Science Department traveled to Schaumburg to volunteer for the organization, Feed My Starving Children. While they were there, the students boxed over 6,200 meals for undernourished children in the third world countries. WLTV's Maria Diego filed this report. Hi, today we're here with Jeff from Feed My Starving Children, and we have a few questions for you. Sure. Do you have any special needs for people to volunteer in this type of season? Oh yeah, this is a time of season where we get kind of a dip in our level of volunteers. We get a lot of people that help out in the end of the year time frame, October, November, December, as people are into the holiday spirit and giving and, and we get a lot of people here. We are overflowing with volunteers. But after the holidays are over, it kind of gets forgotten to some extent. And uh, we have a dip in our volunteers. So we would love to have volunteers at the beginning of the year. That's, that's when they're very much needed. Thank you. Another question is, what kind of families and charities do you work with? Okay. We actually give our food away for free to organizations in up to 70 different countries around the world. And these are organizations that could be um, orphanages, or they could be schools, or they could be medical centers, or some combination of that. And then they actually dispense the food to the children under our monitoring and very close observation. Thank you. Another question is, what kind of message do you send for teenagers to get involved? Gosh, we love teenagers here. Uh, some of our best packing is done by high school groups because they come in and they're full of energy and we've got the music going. I don't know if you can hear it in the background here. A lot of them are singing to it. Um, but they can really create a lot of food in a relatively short period of time. Um, and another thing, uh, about half of our volunteers are under the age of 18. 
So it's actually like children feeding children. So that's an absolutely wonderful message for us to, to let everybody know about. All right, thank you, Jeff. Back to the studio. That's amazing. Thanks, Maria. Finally, the entire West Lytton community was saddened last week with the tragic news of Cisco Rocho's untimely death. A group of West Lytton students, staff, and administrators gathered together this week to find a way to honor his memory. Thanks. We're here with Mr. Manic, Dean of Students. So, Mr. Manic, who designed the shirts for Cisco? The shirts for Cisco were actually designed by two girls. In the process of getting the information about Cisco while he was still in the hospital, Jenny Nugan sent Mr. Wagner a design of something that she thought would honor him. And then from there, we had Gabriella Gritz then continue it and finish it off for us. And between the two girls, I think we've come up with a great t-shirt. Okay, and how many shirts have you sold so far? So far, we've sell, uh, sold somewhere between eight and 900 t-shirts, most of them here at the West Campus, but some at the East Campus also. Well, that's great. And what are you doing now to honor him? Well, in order to continue honoring Cisco, our plan is on Friday to have everybody that purchased a shirt to wear the shirt. Um, the Turnabout Dance will be selling wristbands in his honor and there is a three-on-three -three basketball taking, game taking place. And in addition, there will be a day where um, staff and students in the building will be able to donate money during lunch times and everything to honor him. All right, sounds great. Uh, back to the studio. Well, that's all we have for you today. Have a great weekend, West Leiden. And, and remember, love is just a word, but you bring it definition. definition.